Hey guys, good morning. Day two of our glamping adventures. We're having breakfast. Hey everyone. <laughs> Foy, say hi. Hello. Do you have Karani? I'm talking about tent matako fast. Karani, people come out the other way round. Today we're doing kayaking, but yeah, fast food. By the someone told me I always mention food in my vlog. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> but oh. then, like in a day, you have to eat. Hey, by the way, you guys, you guys usually ask at you where does the food go? You need to see Maxine after she's full. She usually has a food bill. After when you're not full. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Excited. Before the car, we don't look as excited as Jana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jana, you are fresh. Yeah. Yeah. To <laughs> So we started out by first testing our life jackets in the water. So we just got into the water, which by the way is very, very very cold <laughs> at this point so that kasan really helps and someone was asking me whether you're able to do these activities if you can't swim and yes you actually are because as you can see we're just like floating in the water on our backs because of the life jackets in the beginning i wasn't too sure like you know can these things actually just make you float in the water but as you can see that's me just lying down there kicking my legs like literally there's no swimming involved you can just lie down or like stand there in the water and the life jacket just keeps you afloat so it's really fun and an interesting different activity away from being in the swimming pool and i actually really enjoyed it The next up we moved on to kayaking now for kayaking i cannot even lie to you it took me quite some time to get the hang of it so what was happening is we were being given various challenges so over here we were supposed to follow each other in a circle i feel like everyone else was going in a circle apart from me i'm that one in the green kayak on the other side my kayak just refused to go around so it did take me quite a minute to get the hang of it but once i did as you will see in future clips i was a beast at it a pure beast challenge number two was to go and touch um the rock that is at the far end with your paddle now initially i thought this was going to be very easy but i soon found out it was not at all easy for the guys i feel like it was easier like the guys did this within the first let's say like seven ten minutes like that's bg right there touching the rock being very excited he was the first one to do it is that bg or jk i think it was jk who was the first person to do it but for me and for it took us quite some time because you needed a lot of upper body strength to uh, to battle the rapids and get to that side because every time you got close to the rock then the water would just push you all the way to this other side so it took me and for quite a while <laughs> To get to that rock but we didn't give up we got there eventually unfortunately it wasn't caught on clip but take my word for it <laughs> Challenge number three was to um, battle the rapids once again, but now to get to the other side of the river. Again, this needed a lot of upper body strength and the guy in the red helmet, that was our instructor. So he was demonstrating how you were supposed to do it. So you needed to paddle on one side more than the other, then you'd be able to get on the other side. So as you will see in the next clip, I was the first person to do that. I did it. 
for the Slay Squad. We were number one. CMD were number two. So this was our second last challenge. I didn't really get to film the last one, but for this one, um, we were just doing the same thing, but now to get on the other side of the river. And I also feel like the two waves on this other side were a bit stronger than for the first one that we had done. Now the difference between this one and the other one is that on the other side of the river, there was a drop. So basically, if you missed our meeting point, which is where you can see all the other um, kayaks meeting, you'd just like fall on the drop. And we know about this drop because yesterday during the white water rafting, we went up that drop and that's where JK was jumping out of the boat from. So yeah, this was very different and difficult. And at this point, as you can see, I was just screaming for my life. But what I like is that they wouldn't come and help immediately like they challenge you and make you realize that you can actually help yourself now the last person to do this was bg and as you will see in a bit he failed miserably because he fell out of his kayak and i'll just watch, wait and watch and wait for you people to watch this a hey, englishman One eternity later. So we are currently checking out of uh, the rapids camp, and you guys, I'm going to miss this place. I mean, listen. Falling asleep to that sound of the water just slapping the rocks. It's nice. I found it very soothing. And I'm going to miss it. I wish I wish we were staying longer than one night. We have to plan and come back because they have lots of other activities. So we definitely, definitely have got to plan. Have no